are joined by Chantal of Shandy J. Speaks with Mr. Bottles Belafonte here. For mankind. Of course, for mankind, doing an, an awesome job getting together people who are doing great things in the world to help humanity. Um, today we're going to be speaking on the State of the Union. Now, yes. the State of the Union, oh my Before God. We go there though, let's just speak on Shandy J. Speaks. <laughs> On Four Man Con TV, every week she's gonna have a segment. Yeah. We're speaking on everything that comes from her heart and from her mind. Yeah. And this is the first one, the State of the Union, yes. which is something big for you because you like um, you you're very into politics and things like that. I am. You know what? I I, I kind of have like a, a like and dislike relationship with politics. It's like I love the whole how everything goes down. You have to vote. You have to pay attention to the topic. Right. There's so many little intricate details that go into politics, and I, I just appreciate it. What I don't like about it now is it's the nastiness. Campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the na exactly. No, my thing is like they can raise two hundred million dollars and like boom, and the minute they office, there's a debt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like why all those same people that's putting the money to raise for the campaign? We'll do something quarterly, you know, yeah. raise two hundred million dollars every quarter or something to help others. But you know. It's, it's, um, it takes a lot to win the, um, the president, I mean, to be president of the United States. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It comes with a, a lot of goods and bads. Oh, you know what I mean? It, it comes with a lot of great hairs. Yeah. <laughs> you can look at every president. <laughs> Clinton, Bush, Obama. Obama's still looking decent, though. You know, he's not, I mean, he hasn't aged out. like how Bush did. He, he works out. I mean, but if you look at the pictures from when he started, yeah, he aged. He he has yeah. aged a bit, but I mean, it, it's expected. I mean, you are one of the most powerful people in oh, the world. I mean, I don't even know how that's possible. I mean, I mean, decisions you gotta make. You guys, oh, there's, yes. there's no way yes. he can make all the decisions. He's, some decisions have to be made for him because it's impossible. That's a lot yeah. to take on as a man. So, state of the union, 2015. <laughs> Talk to me. Oh my God. What is it? What are your, your, the things you like about it? I mean, I liked a lot of things about it, but the, the part that stood out to me had to be when our president said that, I know, because I won uh, both of them. Right, right. <laughs> that was just that was, an incredible that moment. Was the, like, listen, listen, y'all can shut up now. Yes. I'm yes. here now. I'm, but what, what I got from that is that I don't have to bullshit no more. I can, I can, um, I can do what I really want to do now. Oh yeah. I don't have to worry about winning next year and none of that. So now I'm taking off the handcuffs and I'm going oh, yeah. to do what I can do for the people, which he's, he's been doing for the past, uh, at least the past two, two, two years. This term, yeah. he's been doing a lot. I mean, gas is two dollars. Oh my you gosh. <laughs> two dollars for gas. That's incredible. I remember when I was in college and um, gas was four dollars a gallon, and I had, oh. you know, a, a smaller car. A, a I've been on both sides. I remember when five dollars would take you a long way. Oh my god. And then five dollars would take you up the block. Now you take yeah, me back for yeah. a lot of them back now, which is, which is a yeah, good thing. I mean, so, and the free college, like oh yes, that's incredible. Um, I love that point because when you look at it, we spend about four thousand dollars a year out of college. Oh. So if if a person can save four thousand dollars, about four thousand dollars, more than that's, that, that's, that's tuition. College is the We're not biggest. talking about housing and things oh, like that. We're talking like about college. like tuition, the yeah. cost um, to go to college. So I think that's a great initiative that he's doing, and I hope he's able to make that happen. Yeah, that, um, that, that'd be, it, it would make more people want to go to college. Yes. It would be more acceptable to it because they say, why not try it? And once you're there, you know, hopefully it can inspire you to keep going, yes. going, going. Yes. I mean, education is, a, is an important part in getting ahead because the more you know, the more knowledge you have and utilize, I mean, you can do anything. I, I, I tell my the girls that I mentor that with education, you know, with just persistence, with just belief in yourself, you can do anything right. in this and, and world. I think that's what he's trying to um, push, you know, to just get trying to get people through the door and hopefully they like it and move forward with it. Yes. But everybody missed this part. We will go to Mars, not okay. just to visit, to stay. That went over a lot of people's head. This is our United States of America president said we are going to Mars, not just to visit, but to stay. What do you think about that? I think it's incredible. I mean... But why do you think we have to go to Mars to stay? Well, you got to think about what's happening to our own planet. You have to be open to, I guess, 
the possibility that certain things can occur and you know put yourself in a position to to kind of do things if if a situation is dire or um basically that means to me they the world up the earth up <laughs> and we got to get out of here <laughs> It's, it's not necessarily that. It's just a preparation. You just got to explore to see what's out there. Like you only want to do that if there's you feel like there's something not right where you at. You only want to move if you know you're in a neighborhood and start gun shooting. Oh, and you want to move. You want to move. You know. But can, can you imagine like a millionaire or a billionaire that's been billionaire for his whole life? Like they, these people gotta be tired of Earth. Like they've been went back and forth across the whole water and, and did everything there is on Earth. So. Richard Branson, he wants to be a, you know, no, he is, he he is actually, in space. Yeah, actually, I actually follow the um, space industry, mm -hmm. and it's, it's coming. I mean, they're going to have, like, uh, space cruises, like, you can go, go to space and chill out for, like, a week and come back. You're going to go to Mars. Yes, the, the first, um, when they launched that, the first shuttle to go out, it didn't turn out too well, so they're in a little reboot, you know, getting ready. But to they have another one called SpaceX. Yeah. This guy named Elon Musk, he actually owned um, PayPal before dot-coms and then he sold PayPal and he started SpaceX. That's the number one place that um, NASA works with and he, he sends rockets in and out. But they have, they have a, um, a space station, like as big as a football field. How the hell did they get that up there? Listen, I think it's years of building, putting what? the pieces together. But how did they get it in space? Like, what the? I mean, just like they get anything else in space, you know, they launch it up there and they put it together. But yeah, that 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 that's one of the big things that caught my my ears when he said, um, oh, yes. "We're going to Mars not just to visit but to stay." So you know, that's Should something be, to think about. They look. said it's a year long exploration. He said it takes uh, years, light years, to get to to Mars. Well, I'm not familiar with that stat, but I know that oh they did say, say, say that they'll be going up there for a year yeah. to explore. So we'll see what happens with that. So, State of the Union, um, how, many, how many years you got left? About two years? Yeah, two years left. Two years left. Yes. No, that's the scary part. Oh, gosh. What's going to happen in two years? <laughs> <laughs> when he leaves us. Oh, my gosh. I can't even imagine. I hear the other Bush want to run, and they got another Bush in... Um, Jeb Bush's son, and really? he's, he's Spanish and... I didn't hear about Jeb Bush's son. I heard that Jeb Bush is, wants to run. Of course, there's names, Bernie Sanders, um, Hillary Clinton, of course. Who oh, I would um, see Elizabeth Warren. Who's that? You don't know who Elizabeth Warren is? Never heard She's like the most incredible warrior against Wall Street's oh. greediness. I'm with her. I'm down for <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm with you. I mean, there are a lot of candidates um, democratically. I'm not sure what's, what's happening on the Republican side of it. I'm be honest, man. I'm it's like, I'm, I'm very weary of any person that wants to be president um, of the United States. I mean, that's just like a horrific job, unless you know you really have inside your heart, like Obama, to yeah. to go make some changes. You, you should stay away from it because uh, I know, like, like even like Mitt Romney, like he's just doing it for a hobby. Like he didn't really want to be president. Well, I mean, it's like you want to do it to accomplish a goal. A goal, yes. I mean, when like, you when you've owned companies and made you know millions, possibly billions of dollars, it's kind of like what's the when, next step? Yeah. When you even look at, I hate to bring sports into this, but I love sports. So I'm going to do it here. Yes. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Oh gosh, Michael Jordan. The man. The man. The legend. The legend. The hero. The everything. So Michael Jordan, once he retired, he 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 kept on coming back or trying new things. He went to baseball. Oh. Um, he retired and unretired. He owns a team now. He owns a team now, but he said in an interview, for yes, he said in an interview that it's very difficult for him because basketball was his everything. Right. It's hard to fill that but, void. But, like, but let's put things in perspective. That's sports. We're talking about president. Like, yeah, for somebody to want to be a president just for a goal, that's that's not. That means you're not even trying to help anybody. You just want to accomplish a goal and say, I did this. You know what I mean? I, I get the point which I understand, but you have some people who, it is a goal, but at the same time, it's a goal where they want to achieve things. They want to build a legacy. So sometimes when people, it's just a goal. Okay, I've, I've built my company, I've made my millions or billions of dollars, and the next thing is the presidency. It's still something that they want to do well. Yeah, yeah. okay. So it, it may not be the worst thing if somebody says, oh, this is my goal and I'm going to get that done because 
they may go in there and do a good job because it's their legacy. But I mean, if that's, if that's, yeah, if that's if that's their next goal, once they get it there, next goal is to do do good well, in there. Yes, that's the story. But you know, as far as just wanting to put something on your resume, no. this is you know that, that's. It's not, that's Top not the place for that. Right. And, and I think this it's very difficult for you to get into that position with oh, it God. just being a, a goal, a singular goal without no, having... It's got to be like a goal from five years you know, old because you got to make sure everything is clean. <laughs> you make sure you... <laughs> because that's a, that's a screen. Oh, yes. Yeah, they, they do a lot of screening. So it's, it's not the easiest thing for you to kind of, for lack of a better word, con yourself into, right. you know. Um, so to wrap up, what was your biggest, uh, what's your overall take from the state unit? My overall take from the state unit is that the president is doing a lot of work and he's trying to help everyday people. Um, I don't like attacking people who have achieved their wealth, and I'm not saying that he did this, but um, it's about time that billionaires, you know, pay their fair share, as it's been said, and Help the middle class. I mean, when we all that's are, where they are, got their money from. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when we're all successful, when when the weakest of us are are doing better, we all we yeah, all gain every, from everybody that. Everybody better. gains from that. So, um, I feel like we're we're in a good place. We're yeah. moving forward, and I just hope I hope that this Congress does not sit down and do nothing as it had been doing. I don't understand the fighting. Past couple years, like the fighting. You, you swear, like these two different countries. Like, are you are we fighting? Are we fighting on the same land here? <laughs> you know, if you have two yeah. Congress, you swear, like it's like there's two different countries. Whatever is best for the country is best for the country. Yes, it's like some yes. things don't need to be argued about. Yeah, you know, I, I feel the same. We don't need to be arguing about certain things, um, and we don't need to force our religious views either on people. Right. I mean, I understand that we each have different views but right. at the end of the day it's still spirituality right. it's still a love it's supposed to come from a place of love so why are we not taking care of our brothers and sisters you know? off top yeah and a man with a heart just give what he got yeah well we want to thank you shannon j speaks on for mankind tv universe miami.com check out next week's episode with more shannon j speaks yeah.